Hi everyone, this is Marissa Giuliani here with Dan Zilnick. And in this week's 60 Seconds of Sustainability, we are talking about Biden's promise to tackle climate change. Now that he's in office, does it look like he's serious on delivering on that promise? Dan, you have 60 seconds on the clock starting now. Thanks, Marissa. So yes, uh, candidate Biden had promised to spend $2 trillion on tackling climate change, specifically decarbonizing electricity in the United States, which is a big deal because the bulk, the biggest chunk of uh, emissions from the United States comes from electricity, coal-fired power uh, specifically. And to do something that big, to mobilize $2 trillion, you have to mobilize all of government. So in the US, that's all three arms of government. So what is he doing in the executive branch? Well, he's appointed Gina McCarthy to be the White House Energy and Climate Office lead. She's the former head of the EPA. This matters a lot because she's a former regulator. And she knows how to work with the EPA, with transport, with energy, all the different agencies that might be involved in climate reform. She knows the laws on the books. She's a former regulator and she can get the legislative stuff going right away because she knows how government works. And then that brings us to the second branch of government, which is the legislative branch. Um, Congress is going to need to put a lot of money and may even need to create some new laws and acts to make things happen. And Senator, Senator Bernie Sanders is now in a new position where he's going to be controlling the money from the legislative branch as the Senate budget chair. He says that he wants to create massive reforms to allow for bigger budget items to come through with more votes, specifically to enable student debt reduction, health care reform, minimum wage increase, and lastly, climate change action. The last part of government, the courts, Biden really wants to keep climate change out of the courts and just keep the executive branch and the legislative branch going and making climate action happen. So if you look at the people that he's appointed for these roles, he looks very, very serious on actually living up to his campaign trail commitment.